Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make bubble granouge uh, in Lebanese way. It's very easy and simple recipe. So here we have aubergines. I have two. So first, I'm going to do them like so with the knife. And the other one, same. One, two, three, one, two, three. So then, I'm going to grill them in the cooker. Also, you can do them in the oven. Uh, maybe they will take about 20 to 25 minutes or 30 minutes, maybe. So, um, but then I'm going to use my cooker. It's easier. I'm going to turn on the cooker and then put them like so. And start grill them to have the smoky taste. And keep and keep twisted them every two or every every couple of minutes, like so. And then after that, say keep turning them to grill all of the aubergine from inside. So I'll see you in a bit, and then I'll show you the way of how to make baba ganoush. Okay, guys. So as you can see, we grilled the aubergines and uh, now I left them about half an hour to cool down and I washed them first and, and then it's cooled down so it stayed a little bit, you know, hot. But what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take off, I'm going to take off the skin and throw it like so. not that hard job so as I said you can make them in the oven also you can use the cooker but I don't know you know as you like I find the cooker you know don't take much time and more easier so here we have the the first one is ready so I'm going to clean the second one. So here we have the aubergines. Also I have about one teaspoon of mashed garlic. So paste the aubergine. So noisy. <laughs> That would be better. Also, we need tahini as well. And we spoke about tahini that made out of um, ses sesame seeds, so ground sesame seeds. So baba ganoush is like hummus as well. They look same. So I did hummus as well, if you want to check my other video. So we use lemon, garlic, salt and tahini. So now we need about one small cup of, or half small cup. So we're going to check of lemon juice. I add half, half small cup. So about two tablespoons. And a little bit of salt. No pepper. Also you need about two tablespoons of tahini and we will check them if they need more. I'll taste them. I'll taste the baba ganoush and see if you need more tahini or lemon juice. So I'm going to taste them to see. Oh my god, no more lemon, but a little bit of salt, also no more tahini, they look fantastic, they taste fantastic, so delicious, I hope guys you try it at home, it's very easy and simple, and don't need much time to do it, so I'm going to take the 
aubergine and pour them in a nice plate like so also you have to put them in the fridge and they will be ready after half an hour or one hour also you can make them before one day and also you can make them and leave them for two three days in the fridge doesn't matter it's the same like hummus so I'm going to put the plate in the fridge after that when you want to represent it you have to add a little bit of oil on the top and um, just add I'm going to add chili chili oh my god I love chili so take this bit inside it and then add this one and another one You want to add a little bit of mint, dry mint, it will give a nice taste as well. And about one tablespoon of oil. I'm going to add another, another tablespoon of oil olive oil not vegetable oil and if you like as well add a little bit of red chili so this is the baba hanouj of how to make in lebanon and i uh, hope you enjoy my recipe and hope you enjoy my my plate uh, bon appetit and stay tuned and i will see you soon in another video oh by the way guys i made this appetizer is kind of appetizer you can check it in my other videos so this this these tomato we can eat them with the baba ghanoush this tomato and uh, chopped garlic and uh, it's sour sauce on the top so chop the tomato like so and then add the sour sauce on the top made out of garlic and lemon and uh, cumin powder and salt it's very delicious or you can make tabbouleh fatouche or salad with the baba ghanoush and bon appetit and i'll see you soon in another video or another recipe so bye bye guys and take care